Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to make an analog to digital converter within the falstead.com online simulator. So for it first, we need to go for our ADC module, that is the analog to digital converter module. Is the falstead.com is offering us a simple ADC module, so we are just using it. Okay, now here you can see that there are four outputs named as D0, D1, D2, and D3. N1 is the pin for to take the analog voltage signal or the analog signal. And V positive is the VCC pin or the power supply pin. So what you need to do is to connect all the outputs with the probe. That is the logic probes. So eight logic outputs. These are the logic probes to detect the outputs status. Okay, now. We need to take the wires and connect these logic probes with the outputs. After it is done, we need to take our voltage supply, that is DC voltage supply, and we will connect it with the V positive. Usually plus 5 volt is the standard for majority of the electronic components. Although nowadays 5 volt um, is transforming into 3.3 volt ICs. But still 5 volt is still considered as the working voltage for many of the electronic circuits. Okay now we will insert our analog signal to the digital input pin sorry analog input pin so go for our voltage source so we will insert our voltage source here after voltage source we need a potentiometer to send variable voltage to the analog input pin so take the potentiometer here we need to go for passive components and add potentiometer okay so this is our potentiometer we need to connect its wiper pin to the oh sorry take the wire it's better to take the wire to connect all the things okay like this and in the last we need ground to be connected on the other pin of the potentiometer like this okay okay now now how it used to work with the help of this potentiometer, we will uh, vary the signal voltage from 0 to 5 volt, like uh, with a miniature step size, okay, like small step size. Like first we will uh, start from like 10 millivolts and then 20, 30, 50, 100, okay, and so on, up to 5 volts. And we will observe the output variation, that how digital, uh, output used to respond now you must have to know about the four possible combination truth table that first it will become 0 0 0 and 0 at 0 volt then it will become triple 0 1 then it will become 0 0 1 0 and then 0 0 1 1 and for fifth combination it is 0 1 0 0 so let's start running Okay, first we will make our resistance 
at high. Uh, one more thing that we also need one voltmeter to observe the analog voltage as well. So we will go for our voltmeter probe here. Okay. Just attach it here and it will show us the K okay, weight or take the uh, wire and connect it like that. Okay. The resistance is high. Attach the other end of the what's called as the uh, voltmeter with the ground. It's better to connect it with the ground also. Although sometimes it used to work without even attaching ground, but here it's better to add it to the ground. Okay, now. Okay. Either either it is connected properly, wet, let me see. Okay. Now I have to vary the resistance. First we need to run the circuit, then I have to vary the resistance. Okay. Okay, now, now you can see that there is 25 millivolt on the uh, analog in pin. And we have 0000, 0, 0, 0 on the output. Now we gradually decrease the resistance and this decrease in resistance will yield more voltage dump on the analog input pin. So now you can see 74 and 124 millivolt and then this. Now it gives us at 371 millivolt, it gives us triple zero one output. Then, okay, now at 668 millivolt, it gave it gave us double zero one zero. Okay, now that is equivalent to decimal two. Then zero zero one one that is equivalent to decimal three. Okay, so one point zero six five. Then do it uh, and then 0, 1, 0, 0. it is for 4 and then 0, 1, 0, 1 must be there yes at 1.75 and so on so you can see that whenever we as soon as we are going to decrease the resistance our output is going to change and for 5 volt or nearly 5 volt it, it will give us triple h h okay okay but as uh, we do not use to touch the 5 volt due to so the max is triple one zero okay if we use to change it to like a 6 volt then you will see our 5.3 then you can see it is H okay so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use the analog to digital converter within the falstead.com online simulator so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe